Hey everybody, it's time for a cozy in the kitchen with Candace, and I am Candace. I am a Pampered Chef consultant, and today I am going to make cinnamon cheesecake bars. They are so amazing. This house is going to be filled with buttery, cinnamon goodness. It's going to be so excellent. I'm actually making them at a party this weekend for some of my friends. So what we are going to, I'm going to kind of uh, show you what we're going to be using today. We're going to use a bar pan. As you can tell, this one is excellently seasoned. Uh, we are going to use half cup measuring cup, tablespoon measuring cup, quarter cup measuring cup. I'm going to use another half cup. I'm going to use our bowl and a whisk and spatula. You're going to have an egg. You're going to use some cinnamon. This one is Pampered Chef's uh, cinnamon. It is so, so amazing. And we're going to use some caramel. I made this one uh, homemade. I'll tell you all about it in a minute. So, but first we are going to uh, take our crescent rolls and uh, it, the recipe actually calls for no, uh, no line crescent rolls. I don't have any of those, so I am going to use the regular ones and just make them work. So, you know me, I'm all about making stuff work. We're gonna take one package of crescent rolls and just roll this right out on our bar pan. And then we are going to spread it out and from edge to edge. Uh, pinching along the sides of the uh, along the lines here and I am gonna get to work on that and I'll be right back back and I actually just took this and rolled everything right out onto these edges it worked excellent use a roller it works great um, I did put a trivet down these are the pampered chef trivets they come in three different sizes uh, to hold this down, we have granite countertops, so it makes it a little bit noisy to move things around. So, I've got this all spread out, and we will take two packages of cream cheese, and I am going to microwave this for 35 to 40 seconds. All right, we have pulled this out of the microwave, and it is nice, and it's a little warm, but it's not hot. And I am going to just take the whisk and whisk this it's gonna come out really smooth. That's, that's the goal of this one, just to make it nice and smooth. So you're gonna whisk this until smooth. This whisk, amazing. So awesome, so awesome. So I'm having a, an in-home Pampered Chef party this next weekend and uh, for some friends, and I want to try this out. I'm gonna take it to work with me tomorrow uh, to uh, some of the guys who are in a competition for Biggest Loser and sabotage them a little bit and uh, see how they really like this dessert. They're huge cinnamon roll fans and I really think that this is going to be something that they are going to just love. We are going to next take a half a cup of sugar. I did put it in my measuring cup. This is the wet, dry measuring cup. You can use it either direction and you're going to add a half a cup of sugar to the mixture. You are then going to add an egg. Now, if you're not very good about cracking eggs and getting shells in it, please put them in a different container. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind. So, and then we are going to also add a teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is the best, best little measuring cup. Um, it measured half tablespoons all the way up to quarter cups. It also measures in ounces too. It is such a handy, handy little lifesaver. That whipped up really fast. We're gonna next take our cream cheese mixture and just spread it right over the top of that dough that we have laid out here. 
and smooth it right on out. I'm really excited about this. Um, I, hopefully, if it turns out as good as I think it's going to turn out, which, of course, it's a Pampered Chef recipe, it's going to turn out amazing. Um, if you didn't know that Pampered Chef has recipes on their website, go check it out. Go check it out. Uh, my business page, it has the link to my direct account, and you can go in, you can check out all the awesome new things that Pampered Chef has all the time. Right on top of this, we are going to take another thing of crescent rolls and just roll that right out and place it right on top. We got that dough all stretched out. This is gonna go into the oven, 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. You're gonna want the top of this nice and golden brown. While we are waiting for that to cook, I am going to take, and we're gonna make our toppings for it. So I am going to take a, a measuring cup. This one is great because it's got a nice edge. It'll be easy to sprinkle. And I am going to add a quarter of a cup of cinnamon and a tablespoon, excuse me, a quarter of a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. Best part about these Pampered Chef things is that the Pampered Chef largest tablespoon that will fit in there. I love this cinnamon. It smells so, so amazing. And we are going to Give that a little stir and set this off to the side because this just sprinkles right up on top of our next mix. So yummy. Everybody loves cinnamon and sugar, don't you? Me too. Set that to the side. Something I want to show you. Um, you are going to also, before you put your cinnamon and sugar mixture on, you're going to put caramel on. Now you can go to the store and you can buy a uh, a jar of caramel, sure. Or if you don't have any caramel and you don't wanna to go to the store and you have a little bit of time to plan ahead, do what I did. I took a two cans of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna use the other one later, but I've not opened them. I have no idea what these are gonna look like, but you take this, put this in a crock pot, Cover it with water for about two inches above it, put it on low and let it go for 10 to 12 hours. Uh, it'll make, I believe uh, the, the Hispanic culture calls it dolce de leche, um, which just means yummy yummy is what I think it means. But this is gonna be caramel when we open it up. So caramel sticks to everything. What I've done, is I'm going to get a little bit of oil and I'm gonna use the pump sprayer and I am going to spray my half cup serving because this is, it calls for half a cup. And I'm gonna coat that really nice and then just dump the rest of it out. All you wanna do is coat the edge of that. And then we are going to open our can. I'm so excited about this. Open our can of caramel. Holy cow, it is caramel! I'm so excited. So, so excited. But I don't want that sticking to my spatula either. So I'm gonna rub this with a little bit of oil and wipe it on the, the hand towel that nobody can see off to the side. 
take our caramel right out of the container. Oh my goodness, I'm so stoked about this, you guys. I've always wanted to make my own homemade caramel, not standing over the stove, almost burning it, all of that. I don't wanna do that. I love this, where you can take it and you just put it in the crock pot and you cook it for 10 to 12 hours. I have a friend that did this and uh, she cooked it for 10. It was a lot lighter. She said that she, if she could, she would definitely do it again and make sure and cook it for 12. I cooked it for 12. So it probably also depends on where you are, uh, your, your, uh, the, t the temperature outside. I'm sure it has to do with also the, um, the altitude you're in and even your crock pot. So uh, you may try it a couple of times before you uh, get it. Oh, it smells like caramel. Yum! Before you get it just right. Uh, but I definitely, definitely take a little bit of time and try that out. I put this on last night about seven o'clock and then this morning got up, made some coffee, turned the crock pot off. By the time I went to work, I pulled the, the cans out and I set them on the counter and that's where they've stayed the rest of the day. And you come home to caramel. Yum, this is amazing. Now, all we have to do is a little bit of cleanup. Everything I've used goes right in the dishwasher and wait on our, um, our stuff to come out. I'm so excited, I can't wait. It's gonna, it's gonna smell and taste so, so good. Y'all, if you love Cozy in the Kitchen with Candace, like my page, uh, share it on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I've even got some Instagram going on. Everything is cozy in the kitchen. Um, right now with Pampered Chef, amazing things are happening and amazing spicing, spices are happening. Uh, the month of November, spices are excellent. Um, I am running a special. So um, if you buy five spices or seasonings or packaged breads, then I am going, then you just message me after you've placed your order and I will add your choice of any spice or seasoning on me. So on mine. So get on the Pamper Chef website, check out the amazing, amazing spices that they have and we will be right back for our, our caramel cinnamon tasty goodness is yum. Doesn't this look fantastic? I just pulled it right out of the oven. It is extremely, extremely hot. So if you are working with stuff, make sure you use hot pads. I'm gonna take my caramel and we're gonna put this right over the top. And of course it's going to melt as we go. You're going to want to spread this all the way to the corners. Look how thick that caramel is. Love, love being able to put this right in the crock pot and have thick gooey caramel. Oh, oh my goodness. And since you've oiled it, you don't have any, a whole lot of nasty leftover goodness in it left in your spat, in your, in your, uh, in your measuring cup. So you'll put that right on there. And if you, if you can see that it's, it's melting and you are just going to spread this right Doesn't that look fantastic? We're gonna take our cinnamon and sugar mixture and just sprinkle that right over. The top of this. I would say this would be a really great 
thing to do this uh, spreading this mixture over would be really great to do with your kids but it is really hot so you might want to uh, you may want to do that well you may want to do it with no children around probably because you will get the first bite that just sits let it sit for um, about 10 minutes and then you can cut it and serve it uh, I suggest using the um, use your pizza cutter it'll be great and then just use a spatula and serve it right up I wanted to show you uh, the leftover caramel I put those in little containers then you get about a quarter of a cup of piece you've got what about a half a cup left over these would be excellent my friend Leah did these and she boxed them she can put a couple of containers together or one mason jar a small jelly jar of it and a couple of apples and a couple of sticks and you can make your own caramel apples those are great great gifts um, great gifts to give out I learned that from her and she's pretty fantastic in the craft department if you like getting cozy in the kitchen like and subscribe my page like and subscribe to YouTube and share my videos uh, give me thumbs up and let me know that you watch my show uh, watch my videos uh, don't forget use recipes if you need to and I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful week